Hello, today's how to video will feature the creation of the modified fish traps innovated by the Feed the Future Innovation Lab for Fish. The fish traps created by the Feed the Future Innovation Lab for Fish decrease ecosystem pressure, creating healthy ecosystems and improving fisher income in the future. Traditional fish traps are made from bamboo frames. Fishermen split the bamboo into smaller reeds that they weave into a net over the frame. Traditional traps decompose quickly, trap fish that are too small to eat, and deprive the large ecosystem of baby fish. So the Fish Innovation Lab looked into creating a modified fish trap. The new trap is similar to the old trap, but it's made from steel rods and nylon instead of bamboo reeds. To begin building, let's have all materials out, then you will need steel rods, in the net, a soldering gear, a logo will trap entrance. Once you have all materials needed, let's begin assembling our traps. Cut the steel rods to the correct length. Solder the steel rods together so that they are two hexagons. Fit the net over the frame. Cut a hole in the net to serve as the door to put bait in and let the fish out. Sew the hole up with a piece of nylon. Untie and retie the nylon as needed. Fit the bamboo trap into the frame. The innovation to this new trap is introducing an escape trap gate of 2.4 inches so the immature small bodied fish can escape. They can get into the trap and feed but then escape. The traps can stay in the water for a long time. Fisher folk don't need to pay for repairs as often and they don't need to take the fish traps out of the water for as many repairs. These fish traps also last anywhere from six years or longer. When you go harvest, remember to bring bait so you can replace the previous bait. Put the new bait into the trap and secure it so that the fish will be caught when they go to eat the bait. And then put the trap back into the water. Set it in a new area so that new areas of fish may be caught. Fish have vital zinc, iron, iodine, vitamins A and B12, all of which are important for the body and for growing children. Small-scale fisheries have the potential to generate income and augment fish consumption while being environmentally sustainable if appropriate systems are in place, such as using the traps we have shown you today. Now we have gone over how to make these traps, catch fish with them, and bring them back from the water. We thank you for joining us today and hope this can help you in your fishing goals wherever you are.